Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we will discuss that how to speed up recovery from a cesarean delivery. Having a cesarean delivery, which people also often refer to as a C-section, can have a big impact on a mother's mental and physical health in the weeks afterwards. To speed up their recovery, people can try various lifestyles and wellness methods that can help. A trusted doctor, a sportive community of other people who can have cesarean deliveries and a willingness to ask questions can help with understanding the recovery process. Immediately after delivery, most women undergoing a C-section receive an epidural or spinal block. This form of anesthesia numbs the body but still allows the person to be awake. It can take several hours to regain feeling after an epidural. It will not be possible to walk or use the bathroom without assistance. During this immediate prospective period, most women will have a catheter for several hours after delivery to help them urinate. The first 24 hours The first 24 hours following a C-section present many of the same challenges as a vaginal delivery. These include the mother adjusting to new parenthood, attempting breastfeeding and feeding visitor. Peoples who undergo cesarean deliveries face additional challenges. For example, blood clots. One of the biggest risks of cesarean is developing a blood clot in the leg. This is more likely in people who are overweight or who remain immobile for long periods. Women who are unable to walk may have special cuffs on their legs designed to keep the blood moving. Otherwise, if they are able to walk, it is essential for them to get up and move around as quickly as possible. Cramps in the 24 hours, it is common to feel pain at the site of the incision. Many women also feel post-birth cramps as the menses start and uterus shrinks. These sensational feelings, similar to menstrual cramps but may be more intense. Watching for infection A nurse or doctor will carefully monitor the cesarean incisions for signs of infections. They will also check vaginal bleeding even after a C-section. The uterus has to shed what is left of the pregnancy. Vaginal bleeding usually lasts four to six weeks after birth and is heaviest during the first days. First weeks. The risk of infection is highest during the first few weeks. Dangerous bleeding, which is known as a hemorrhage, is also more likely during this time. People should avoid returning to their normal exercise levels for 6 to 8 weeks. Driving is usually not safe for 4 to 6 weeks also. Long-term recovery. Recovering from a C-section takes time and may take longer than a doctor or midwife says it will. Some women experience muscle or incision pain for several months. Other struggle with urinary incontinence due to weakened pelvic floor muscles. While these challenges are common, people should not ignore them. Any unpleasant symptoms that persist after the first postpartum appointment with a doctor or midwife warrant another appointment. Here are 9 tips for a faster recovery. Every C-section is different. Recovery may take longer than some when has a C-section as an emergency procedure. Infections, problems with incision and underlying health problems such as diabetes may also make recovery times longer. People can speed up their recovery from a C-section with these methods. Number 1. Get plenty of rest. Rest is vital for recovery from any surgery. Yet for many new parents, rest is nearly impossible with a newborn in the home. Newborns keep irregular hours and may sleep for only 1-2 to two hours at a time. People should always try to sleep when the baby sleeps or get help from a loved one so they can take a nap. Number 2. Ask for help. Newborns are demanding caring for a baby. After major surgery can be exhausting and it is not possible for all parents to manage this alone. Ask for help from a partner, a neighbor, a family or a trusted friend. Number 3. Process your emotions. Giving birth can be an emotional experience for all involved. Women who experience emergency deliveries or traumatic birth as well as those who have cesarean deliveries have hoped to avoid may have to process difficult emotions about the birth. These new feelings can make the transition to parenthood more difficult than it is for others and can trigger feelings such as guilt, 
and shame. Number four, take regular walk. Lifting and intense aerobic exercises are out for the first few weeks of recovery. As an alternative, walking can help with staying fit and maintaining good mental health. Number five, manage pain. There is no need to be in pain while struggling. V all the other demands of new parenting people must take the pain relievers prescribed by the doctor if they do not work or if the pain gets worse they should contact a healthcare provider for advice number six watch the signs of infection some doctors will ask new parents to take their own temperature every 24 hours to monitor for signs of infection people can consult with their doctor or midwife to ask if there is a good strategy number seven fight constipation the combination of hormonal shift weaker stomach muscles and spending lots of time lying down can lead to constipation severe constipation can be painful and straining can injure the c-section incisions drink plenty of water and ask a doctor about a taking a stool softener eating plenty of fiber-rich foods such as fruits and vegetables can help to prevent constipation number eight get spot for breastfeeding having a c-section is linked to a high risk of breastfeeding difficulties a lactation consultant can help new parents successfully breastfeed even when the face obstacles such as separation from the baby after birth if breastfeeding is not going well people should ask for help number nine seek help for long-term issues some women experience long-term pain after c-section other experience muscle weakness incontinence or depression these issues are common and people should not feel ashamed if they have these experiences nor is there any need to suffer in silence now you should ask a question that went to see a doctor after a c-section people should call or see a doctor if they experience these things intense uterine cramps uterine cramps that go away and then return difficulty urinating frequent headache anxiety or depression people should go to emergency room if they experience bleeding that soaks through more than one pad or tampon per hour for more than two hours signs that the incisions have ruptured such as bleeding or oozing from the incision thoughts of harming themselves or their baby intense cough pain especially if accompanied by swelling or numbness in the feet shortness of breath so this is all about how can you get recovered fastest after c-section if you find this video useful then must like the video share it and also subscribe our channel for such useful and informative videos thank you